Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Have a green arts and craft. I'm a bit late on posting a Halloween video and uh, you do have a couple of days if you wanted to make these amazing witch earrings witch hat earrings they are super cute super easy for beginners and everyone if you wanted to wear as the earrings you can use and wear as the earrings or if you wanted to make a necklace this one i have made a necklace you can make the necklace of this cute amazing hat so for this one, as you can see, there is a pretty size difference between these two hats. For this one, I used size 5.50 millimeter crochet hook, while this one I made it with a 3 millimeter crochet hook. So I used the brown yarn. You can use any color of your choice, and I made a long chain, attached a long chain along with the jump ring at the top. And this is super cute gift if you wanted to gift someone a Halloween gift. This is a super cute, super amazing. If you want to make it a more fancy look, you can put the pearls right here at the top of the brim side. You can put the amazing white pearls. They, it will look more fancy with hat. Or you can wear a simple earrings. You can make a smaller size for if you wanted to reduce the size you can use a two millimeter or 1.5 millimeter crochet hook depending on what yarn you are using so for this demonstration you will need a jump rings earring hooks if you're making a necklace you will need a chain you will need 3.5 millimeter crochet hook you can use the two tone yarn you wanted to you can use a regular yarn you wanted to use the brown color you can use the brown at the center i found it looks really nice if you use this brown color at the center you will need your jewelry pliers to attach these and you will need your regular scissor yarn stitch marker so let's get started all right for this demonstration i'm using a size three millimeter crochet hook and three ply yarn you can use a four ply if you go for the necklace now for to start you have to do a magic circle so make a magic circle the first couple of rounds are going to be the hardest for you to work with because we are going to do four single crochets into the center here so work for round one work four singles into the center one two three and four lock the center and for round two we have to now work with the smaller part so for now we will first make a knot with this Oops. You will get your needle. You have to lock this stitch here because just give it simple knot. I think the one simple knot is more than enough. Leave a little tail and cut the rest. Now round two. Round two is going to be one single crochet in each single crochet for the total of four. One, two, three, four. So insert your hook to the very first single crochet. This is a hard round work so one into the next two into the next three into the next four Round two has been completed. Round four, round three is going to be two single crochet in each for the total of eight. So now we will work. I know this work is looking a little bit weird right now because we are going to turn inside out. So keep working. Round three, 
two in each total eight so one and two now you can see there is your next stitch three four five six and there is your last one seven and eight after completing the eight stitches we are going to turn this work inside out okay so what you're going to do you're going to take one of your larger hooks just press from the center towards outside there and now we are on the proper side the outer side okay so now for round four work one single crochet in each all the way around total eight so one two three four five six seven and eight after completing round four this is what your work's gonna look like this is the top part now we will do round five which is working one single crochet in the very first stitch and from now we will mark the stitches because the starting rounds are quite easy to work with just with the countings but if you're not okay with that don't do mark the stitches but i was okay with the starting rows because it was like normal stitches eight and six and four so we were not okay with it but now you have to put this stitch marker on so work one single crochet in the very first stitch work two singles in next work one single in next work two singles in next and at the end of this round you should have 12 single crochets and after this round we will work a one single crochet in each all the way around so we are completing round five one single then two singles then one single and then two singles okay and now round six is going to be one single crochet all the way around and i'm going to complete this and come back and tell you what you have to do in round seven so i have complete round six which was one single crochet in each total of 12. now we will work at round seven so starting round seven work a one single crochet in next two in the first two stitches so i have done my first stitch work a one single into the next one now we will do the increase stitch in the third so work a two singles in every third stitch okay you have to work one single crochet in each of the next two so one and two and work a two single crochets into the next one so at the end of this round you should have 16 stitches in total so i have done with the round seven round eight is going to be a one single crochet in each single crochet all the way around for the total of 16 single crochets so i'm gonna complete around eight one single crochet in each single crochet and then we will continue working on this all right so i have completed round eight which was one single crochet in each for the total of 16. round nine is going to be working with round nine now one single crochet in each of the next three so it's one two and three and then we will work a increase which is two single crochet in the fourth stitch work one single crochet in next three one 
two, and three. And we will work two singles in the fourth stitch. So you have to increase every fourth stitch of this round. At the end of this round, you're going to have 20 single crochets. So I have completed round nine. And now we have to work round 10, which is going to be one single crochet in each single crochet for the total of 20 single crochets. So I'm going to complete this round and meet you back. So I have completed round 10, which is one single crochet in each. Now we will work a 11th round. This is the last round of the increase. Work one single crochet in each of the next four and increase fifth stitch. So work one, two, three, four and increase the fifth one. One and two. So this is what you have to do all the way around and at the end of this round you should have 24 single crochets. Alright, so I have completed round 11. Round 12 is going to be one single crochet in each and then we are going to change the color and add this one, uh, two rows of brown color if you wanted to. If you don't want this, you can continue with the sim single color. So we will do one single crochet in each for round 12 and then we will change the color, okay? So work one single crochet in each for the total of 24. Now at the end of round 12, we don't have to work in the last stitch. Don't do the stitch because now we have to change the color. To change the color, insert your hook in, grab your yarn, the one you are working with, and now take the one you wanted to change the color just a regular loop insert this loop to your hook and pull through both of the loops together this is how you have to finish your last single crochet of round 12. all right so now we have to start round 13. now i have make a regular knot with this to the smaller of the color B and color A because we need to continue the brim with the color A okay so now I'm starting round 13 to 14 one single crochet in each so work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around till round 13 and 14 so you should have 24 stitches so I'm gonna complete these two rounds working one single crochet in each and then I'm gonna meet you guys and teach you how we're gonna work with this brim part. So I have worked one single crochet in each for around 13 and 14, two rounds of the brown color and now we will come back to the color A. To do this now we have to do the slip stitch for round 15. So insert your yarn and grab your yarn and do a regular slip stitch and now we will drop the color B and come back towards color A grab the color A and pull it through to do just a regular chain one stitch and start working one single crochet in each all the way around for round 15 so you have to work one single crochet in each single crochet all the way around for round 15. So I have completed round 15 and then we have to do a slip stitch and make sure you should have 24 single crochet and now we will work round 16 and slip stitch as the starting point. Now before I work with this I did work on the previous brown tail so I shouldn't get this stuff to sew this later I'm just gonna cut this one and the previous knot as well now we have to work around 16 and 17 so work round 16 first you have to work one 
two single crochet in each all the way around for round 16 so then I'm gonna tell you around about round 17 and I don't know why the kids down <laughs> towards my window are laughing so much they all are playing because they have finished their exams and making such a noise right now anyways work a two single crochet in each single for the total of 48 singles at the end of round 16 so I have complete round 16 and now we have to join to the very first stitch work a slip stitch and as you can see this here this brim is here now round 17 is the last round for this cute hat and for this you have to chain one and work one single crochet in each single crochet for the total of 48 so just a regular single crochet round and this is the last round and after this we will do the slip stitch and I'm going to show you how I do the slip stitch without the knot coming at the top, okay? So here is my work after completing round 17. And now we have to fasten off the yarn. To do this, you will skip the very first stitch. And into the next one, insert your hook in, grab the yarn, and do a regular slip stitch. A loser one. Don't make it too tight and don't chain one right now so you're going to leave a long tail cut your yarn and pull it through and make sure not to make it too tight okay look there is no knot here while when we do chain one you get a knot at the top it looks really bad now you're gonna insert your hook to the next stitch here as you can see this is how your work's going to look like into the center towards the back bring this yarn and it's look this is how your work's gonna look like right now and now we will do bring the yarn down a little bit and make a knot inside because we really don't want it to show up so this is how i do slip stitch to avoid that loop now we'll do a regular knot here and then we will hide this tail in a couple of stitches just pass your needle through a couple of stitches and then just cut the yarn and now we will place the hook and the jump ring at the top okay so you will need your jump ring which is right here and you will need one of those earrings hooks all right, so first you have to open your jump ring nice and widely open and then you have to attach right towards the center here it's going to be a little hard because the stitches are really tight at the top section there you have it and then you're gonna put your earring hook and make sure you will put in the way where the joining part and the changing color section will come at the back side of your ear when you're going to wear it. Okay. It's coming towards the side right now. I'm going to change this. I'm gonna put on this side so so there you can see 
now the changing color part and all this joining stuff will come at the back when you're going to wear this so i hope you have to enjoy today's video tutorial for more do don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like this video and if you make these super cute earrings don't forget to share it on my facebook page take care bye